For those of you new to my channel, what I'm about to delve into is actually lore I've created myself for a vault that does not exist currently in the Bethesda world, in the Fallout world, or anything like that. This is the story of the vault that I feature in my True Vault Escapades 1940s Fallout radio drama, which seems to be very well received, and I thought it would be a good idea to delve into a little bit of the lore I've created for this series. And out of all of the many radio shows I've made for this True Vault Escapades Walter and Bunny Detective Noir series, the original True Vault Escapades series where it all premiered seems to be the most well received, the most viewed, and I think it would be a good idea to show off some of the lore I have created for a major setting, the major setting in this series. Before I get started, I am going to leave out the major spoilers and just give you the general lore of Vault 54. So if you want to, you can listen to the entire series yourself, which is available on this channel. I specifically made Vault 54 for one reason only. It currently has no lore whatsoever in the Fallout world, literally blank on the Fallout wiki. However, a subscriber of mine recently gave me a scare when he mentioned that Vault 54 already exists in the Fallout world, but thankfully, it turns out the wiki page where I found this information was part of a fan wiki, where just about anyone can create their own Fallout lore and make it look real. Without further ado, Vault 54 is a heavily populated vault which had to someday vote to ultimately open or close its door for good. The catch? The Enclave was conspiring with Vault 54's secret police in the background to make sure the ultimatum was to keep it open, even if that meant killing voters who were planning to cast their ballots for the opposite choice. About 50% of the vault wants that darn door open. I just... I won't let that happen. If we make a choice this big, we make it as a community. So whatever the state of the vault door is, everyone is going to respect that. If the door stays, we all stay. If the door opens, we all venture the wasteland. Together. The Overseer was undermined by his own trusted advisors, bodies were piling, and time was running out. I can only hope Bunny gets a clear match on our perp. Until then, I was expected to relax in a cushy vault room all by myself. But how could I relax with what's going on? I thought the issue tomorrow was going to involve something petty. Maybe they wanted me to tell them about my experiences in the wasteland. I get my 10,000 caps and move on. No, this was homicide. And they were serious. The overseer was right about one thing. I needed my strength. So I locked the door tight and got ready for bed. Bunny said this was a big day for me. But tomorrow would be even bigger. That, of course, is when the overseer, Overseer McKenzie, sends his secret weapon, a vault detective named Bunny, to find someone both intelligent and unbiased to help with her vault's dilemma before it was too late. After a series of fighting and exposing corrupt officials, Bunny and her newest asset, Detective Walter Camry, end up ultimately sealing the vault before the Overseer's head of security does the opposite. And though Walter wished Bunny could start a new life in the wasteland with him, Bunny remains in Vault 54 to tend to her people, as she feels like she would be abandoning the people she chose to protect in the first place if she just up and left. A whole saga of events takes place after this, including how Bunny takes on the now dangerous Vault 54, which is now no different than Bioshock's Rapture. Looting, crime, and survivalism takes over as trust between citizens and vault government ultimately dissipates. That fool! I... I remember. They banged on the door for hours like lunatics. Bunny is practically the only trusted official left in the vault, and to make matters worse, the Enclave is still trying to break in even though the vault has been sealed. Ah, I heard what you said. That all you gangsters had the upper hand over the vault police? Bad chance. What do you mean? We got the same old spiel. Hand over the goods and all is forgiven. But we- You had yourself believe that the Enclave were double-crossing us in favor of you? That's the oldest trick in the book. Whatever they're busting in this vault with, it'll be nothing but a Trojan horse. To avoid any more spoilers, you can find all of these stories right on my channel. But anyway, I thought I would tell you guys the story of my version of Vault 54 before Bethesda one day overwrites it. But if they never do so, that'd be sweet. By the way guys, if you're ever wanting to listen to the full saga of Vault 54 on the go, I did recently partner with the Character Crusade podcast group and officially made an A-Bomb Radio podcast, where you can listen to each episode you want, and even the episodes beyond. A link will be in the description, and let me know if you want to see more lore videos like this. 
This has been Atomic Wolf, and I'll see you guys next time.